Meantime, President Trump says America is winning the war against the coronavirus pandemic, but the nation's leading experts disagree. This comes as the president is heading out on the road for campaign events. CBS 4's Skylar Henry has more details from the White House. President Trump is defending his administration's response to COVID-19. COVID-19, COVID. I say, what's the 19? COVID-19, some people can't explain what the 19. Give me the COVID-19. I said, that's an odd name. But here's the story. We are going to be stronger than ever before, and it's going to be soon. The president was speaking at a campaign event in Arizona, a state that reported a record number of cases Tuesday. The church in Phoenix was packed with people, most not following public health recommendations to wear a mask. Plan A, don't go in a crowd. Plan B, if you do, make sure you wear a mask. But the president said the country is winning the battle against the coronavirus. We're doing so well after the plague. It's going away. Dr. Anthony Fauci was less optimistic during a congressional hearing. I wouldn't use the word prevail. I would say that we are still in the middle of a serious outbreak. President Obama slammed President Trump's coronavirus response during a virtual fundraiser with Joe Biden. Suggests facts don't matter. Science doesn't matter. Uh, that uh, suggests that uh, a, a deadly disease is fake news. President Trump is hosting the president of Poland here at the White House today for the first in-person diplomatic visit since the pandemic began. The White House press secretary said the visit comes at a critical time for both the United States and Poland as we reopen our countries after months of battling the coronavirus pandemic. Andres Duda faces his own re-election contest Sunday. The two leaders are working on a defense deal to deploy thousands of additional U.S. troops to Poland. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.